Hello from the Viral Academy in Oldenburg. Hello and welcome. Today we have this beautiful Mercedes with a 9G Tronic transmission. Here we want to show you a transmission flush. What do we need for a flush now? Of course a flushing device and a special expert kit that we have put together. Before starting a flush, we of course have three steps to take into account. Firstly, a test drive, then reading out the fault memory and, of course, taking an oil sample. The test drive has just been carried out and now we read out the error memory. Nothing was stored in the error memory, so the system is working perfectly. Now we come to the oil sample. For this we have two containers in a box. One for the fresh oil and one for the used oil. This way you can show the customer after the flush what his old oil was like and what the new oil looks like. As Johannes has just told us, we have to check the oil. Then, of course, we can look at how we can adapt at the same time. I have already prepared something. I pulled out this little clip on one of the pipes. We'll need it again later for the adaptation. And now we'll get a sample. We now have the oil sample. You can smell wonderfully how burnt the oil is. And you can also see from the color of the oil that it is already well worn. At the point where we have just taken the oil, we will now also adapt it. We have disconnected a pipe at the top of the oil cooler and now I'll show you how we connect it. Instead of the hose, we now insert the adapter here and secure it with the spring. It doesn't matter where we connect which hose, because we have an automatic flow direction recognition. To avoid any unpleasant surprises, we now check whether our adaptation is tight. To do this, start the engine briefly and carry out a visual inspection. Now we can see the working instructions and all the necessary steps in the tester. The new filling quantity for this transmission is 10 liters. Let's now take a look at our expert kit. It now contains more than 10 liters, because we want to flush. While I'm at it, we might as well go into the whole kit. First of all, we have an oil note here, which we will need at the end, and in addition, of course, the new oil pan with the filters installed and the complete set of screws. Now we have filled up our flushing unit and can start flushing. We enter the new filling quantity into the device as a guideline and then flush while observing our sight glasses. Now we have carried out the flushing. First we change the oil pan with the installed filter. To drain the oil from the oil pan of the 9G Tronic transmission and to check the oil level afterwards, we need a special tool. Of course, we also have this in our range. This is the V33587. Now some oil has leaked out. We have an adjustable riser tube here at the oil pan with four different positions. To turn each position we need this special tool. We are in position 1 right now and now, so that we can drain the oil, we will go to position 4. We will explain position 3 and 2 later. I'll turn this over to position 4 and the oil will come out. Since we are in position 4, we have the full flow of the transmission fluid. Okay. 
Let's recap. What have we done? We collected the used oil once, plus the rest from the oil pan. That brings us to four and a half liters. And we have to fill these four and a half liters back into the transmission with fresh oil. Now we install the new oil pan with our new filter system. We have a filter that is screwed on here. At the next oil change or oil service, you only need to replace the seal and this filter. Before we install it, we moisten the rubber seal with fresh oil. Now we can press on the oil pan. As these are special fixing bolts for the oil pan, it is very important to always use new ones and tighten them to the manufacturer's torque. Now that we have refitted the oil pan, we have to refill the four and a half liters that we have just drained. And we do that here with the device. And the next step now is to run the engine and shift through all the gears manually once. Now we come to checking the oil. I already explained positions 1 and 4 earlier. Now we come to positions 2 and 3. I'll only briefly go into position 2, because we're not going to do that now. Here you check with an ultrasound device. But we will now check the oil level in position 3. Make sure that we have an oil temperature of 39 degrees Celsius. It is important that we do this work with the engine running. We now call up the transmission oil temperature with the diagnostic device. It shows 36 degrees at the moment, which means we have a very small moment. I am now in position 3. You can see it's dripping out slightly. I would now top it up a bit with a device so that we get the exact amount. Now we have a slightly dripping oil flow. We can now return the riser tube to the closed position one. Now insert the drain plug. We just have to adapt back in a moment. A small note here on the sight glasses. You can see very clearly that we have almost the same quality. That means that the whole system has a change rate of almost 99%. And if we now compare this with the old oil, it becomes very clear why a flush is much more effective than a gear oil change. And how was the test drive? Really good, the car shifts super. Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up. Do you have any questions or suggestions? Send us a comment.